Hi, my name is John, and today I'm going to be working on part two of upgrading my TIG to ball screws. Welcome to another episode. I think it might be screwed to the bottom of the box. Okay, I took a look at the bottom and I found this. Uh, so this is a flat head. There's no screw on this side, which means I'm going to need to look on the other side to figure out where the screw is. Flipping it uh, back over, I'm pretty sure it's this screw here, so I'm going to loosen this one and see if uh, it'll come free once I disconnect this one. Okay, that one's free. No, nope. I think I need to disconnect the other one as well, maybe all three. So there's another one over here, right down there. That's two, and I think there might be a third one down here. I'll find out. No. Okay. Okay, here it is. Uh, I've removed uh, the rubber bands that were on here and here, and uh, these move really, really smoothly, and I can't feel any rock at all. So these are very solid. I'm looking forward to having this back together and up and running. So let me go ahead and open the other box, which should be the Z assembly. Here's uh, the C Z assembly. Let me go ahead and open this. Shredded paper. <laughs> and unbolt that one as well. Alright, and there's the Z assembly, which I will put down on the table and then get rid of this box. I mentioned that there are there's a lid on here, and there's uh, some cardboard in here. So these are this is one eighth inch Allen, and I think it, I can just remove these two screws, and it will allow me to get inside and remove the cardboard. And it was just sitting there, so yeah, it was pretty easy to move. And now you can see. Oh, this is wonderful. I can't feel any backlash at all, which is the way it should be. Okay, so I'll put that uh, guard back on, uh, which I mentioned is, a, as I said, uh, which may or may not have been caught from the previous audio, uh, is a new feature. So the older model that I have did not have this uh, guard over the, uh, the screw, the lead screw. And I think it's really great to have a guard over the lead screw to keep it clean. So I'm very happy with that change and didn't know I was going to get it. The other change uh, that is on here that I'm pretty sure my previous one didn't have is uh, an apron to protect it. So I believe that means when it's farther up, yep, then uh, it starts to expose the ball, ball screw on the bottom and uh, this protects it and keeps it clean. So this is pretty exciting. I'm gonna move this down a little bit back to where it was and then I'll start setting this up. So the first step, let me move this around, is to bring this back around and I'm gonna put the Z on here. So I'll unscrew this. And it looks like 
Um, I kept these two parts from before, the, uh, the washer and the, the nut, but that's fine. Okay, so now this goes on there. Getting, trying to keep these flaps out of the way. And then get it on the last bit, and there we have it. So now it's completely on. And that means I can put the washer and the nut on. And then I'm going to want to tighten this enough so that it doesn't fall over. Uh, it's obviously not going to be exactly vertical yet. Um, that will require tramming, which we'll do in a little bit once I have it back together. All right, so this was on here like so. And uh, what I'm noticing is it does not go on with the cover on. So I'll take this cover back off. Okay. Okay. So this is on there again, it's not necessarily uh, aligned because there is a little bit, I mean, moving, I'm moving it around, jiggling it while I tighten it. And hopefully that'll make sure that it's uh, aligned vertically as much as possible. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, move this up a little bit because it's a little low. This is so nice, it feels so much smoother than the old one. So there are two square nuts like this that go into a T-slot. So I'm pushing, uh, the screw from the back so that I can get it started. There we go. So you can see it's beginning to uh, look like uh, it did before uh, as we've got uh, this back up here. And that means I should be able to put this on and adjust it vertically so that uh, I've got it lined up correctly vertically. So I can see that it needs to go up a little bit. I just want to get it close at this point. Okay, that looks pretty close. And of course I hit my wrench. Okay, now I'm going to start working on the uh, putting the stepper motors back on. So I'll start with this one over here. Um, there's really no difference between the, the X and the Y, and I didn't mark them, so I can just put them on, you know, one on one and one on the other. Uh, what I like to do is I like to keep the uh, this connector so it's on the bottom. So the first thing is, if you'll recall, there are some... Uh, tubes that need to go into holes in here. So what I'm going to be doing is basically looking in here to try to line those tubes up to make sure that they all go in. Okay, and they have all gone in. So now I can screw this in and if I remember correctly I want about uh, 1 8 inch gap which looks like uh, about there. So I'll put this down here. Oops, I forgot one thing. Um, there's a uh, ring, a locking ring, like so, that uh, is no longer on here. So I'm going to have to look for that, figure out where my locking ring went. All right, I figured out what happened to the locking ring. Uh, I, I looked back at uh, my previous video and uh, when I reassembled it, I left the locking ring right there. So that means it went back to the tag factory. They probably didn't notice it and therefore they didn't send it back to me. So I'm going to continue to assemble this, but what I'm going to do is I'll probably come in here with a, either a zip tie or a 
uh, some type of clamp uh, temporarily so that I can hold this in place well enough to be able to start using it. And in the meantime, I'll contact TAG and order a replacement part. Okay, so here is the other one, and you can see that it does in fact have the locking ring on it. So that means I can go ahead and put this on and make sure everything lines up. Okay, some of these are... There we go. Okay. And now I can go ahead and uh, find the correct wrench, which maybe is this one. Nope. And then tighten this up. And then when this is tightened, and it's not doesn't have to be very tight, this is uh, not going to rotate at all, which is what you want. Okay, and it doesn't have to be absolutely vertical like this, but you know it looks nicer if it's vertical. Okay, so that one's on. You can see it's pretty easy to reassemble this. And now we'll go ahead and uh, do the Z. All right, so again, we need to line up the, uh, let me rotate it so you might be able to see these uh, tubes in there. So I just have to wiggle them in place. And then once I have them wiggled in place, then I can tighten this down. Uh, it's a good idea to put this on first. Let's try that again. Okay, and then wiggle it in. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, so what I just did is, uh, this is the electrical connection uh, between the, the spindle and the, the power, right there. Okay, and then we'll want to uh, tighten this up. So at this point, it's, it's pretty much put together uh, for the most part. Um, I'm gonna put the, uh, the cover back on to the top. And then I'm going to hook up uh, the electrical, uh, all of the different p bits and pieces, hook up the computer again, uh, and see if I can get it running. And then I'll bring you back in, because uh, the next thing I'm going to need to do is tram this, so that it's perfectly aligned in all axes to give the best results. So I contacted uh, TAG about uh, the missing part, and uh, they've sent me a new part, which means that I'll be able to finish the assembly. And then next time we'll get on to aligning the machine and getting everything running. And I'll also test the backlash to see how it is with the ball screws. See you next time. Thanks for watching. And uh, please, if you, uh, please subscribe. And if you want to get updates, uh, click on the, the uh, there's a little bell down below that will make sure that you get notified uh, when I publish a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.